hello everyone and welcome to the channel as was promised in this video i am going to show you how you can locally install nexa sdk on a windows operating system these commands will be valid for any flavor of windows of course not windows 2008 and the lower ones but if you're running any modern windows system windows 10 windows 11 or any windows server you should be able to run all of these commands to install nexa sdk so what is Nexa SDK? Nexa SDK is being touted as the Olama alternative with few more features. Olama is one of the easiest tools to run large language models, especially the text-based ones locally in a very, very easy way. And that is where Nexa is trying to be an alternative, whereas not only it is offering to run the large language models in text, but also for vision, for audio, for image generation and for text to speech and speech to text models just like olama you can also upload it onto their model hub so if you go to nexaaicom slash models you will see that they have a model hub which is very nicely uh, i would say arranged on the left hand side you can filter down with the model such as for text picks uh, you can go do with natural language processing ones and this is the same company behind these octopus models so and then for the audio multimodal and all this stuff i already have covered nexa in great detail in my previous video which i just did a couple of hours ago where i go end to end as how to get it installed on any linux based machine those instructions are also valid for mac and then we have played around with nexa as how you can use it for NLP for text for multimodal, how can you upload the model and all that stuff. So if you're interested, just search with Nexa and you should be able to find that video. Now, not only that, but as I mentioned, this is the same company which has released some of the quality models uh, in Octopus series, which I already have covered. As you can see, I have done various videos on Octopus models, uh, which you can search out around five months ago, four months ago, and they were pretty cool okay so but for the purpose of this video we are going to get this next sdk installed on our local windows system now there are a few prerequisites which you need to meet one thing it would be really good if you have gpu because if you are trying to do image generation tts and few of the nlp models they require gpu but if you are going with the smallish model you can try to run it on cpu that should be okay it will run on cpu no doubt about that but uh, just as a disclaimer i have a gpu on this machine which i will be using and the gpu is uh, 24 gpu of vram 810g from nvidia i don't think so it supports at the moment amd but as these are very early days for this project so i'm sure they will be supporting it down the road okay so another thing i would highly recommend you to do is to install mini conda if you don't know what is conda and mini conda please search my channel i have done step by step videos installing conda is very simple on windows all you need to do is to just go here and then from here just download the xd file and the website is anaconda.com and this primarily provides you a virtual environment so that it doesn't disturb any of the things on your machine or you can simply click on this green button at the top just google or search or bang around mini conda or anaconda on windows okay so that is out of the way i already have it on my machine so i'm just going to launch powershell in the bottom in the bottom left just type powershell and then right click on this run as administrator and it is going to open this screen for us from here you can go to desktop or any directory of or folder of your choice and then here we need to git clone the repo of this nexa sdk if you don't have git installed um, then all you need to do is to go to the repo and i will drop the link to it in video description scroll up from here click on code and then download the zip file but i would highly suggest you don't do that you install git on windows and in order to install git on windows just google again or ping or any search engine that install git on windows click on download here and then next 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 it is going to install git on your system and then again open this powershell prompt once you are there in the powershell prompt all you need to do is to 
make sure to run uh, maybe i'll just create a conda environment first that will be cool okay so you see that there is already in the parenthesis a base conda environment let's deactivate it because we want to create a new one and then simply type conda create dash n nexa okay so what is happening here okay so because this is i'm using the linux uh, command here so i'm just going to delete this and then run this one let's wait for it to get created this is going to take a bit of a time and now here you can simply go and then activate that conda so i'm just going to use this conda activate nexa and you will see that nexa is now in parenthesis on the left let me clear the screen next up we need to install some of the stuff uh, from their git repo so for that i would suggest you give this command i'll just remove this i'm git cloning recursively which means that it is going to install all the dependencies too so let's wait and everything is installed now which is good let me um, clear the screen and then we will step into this nexa sdk here okay now in order to install nexa in powershell you need to give this command because i'm using cuda so it is going with cuda and it supports various model formats like ggml o nnx and bin so if you want other one you just need to put in scare brackets o nnx here after pip install nexa ai but i'm just going to go with default ggml so let me run it and it is going to take a couple of minutes so let's wait for it to finish okay so it took around three to four minutes but everything is installed now let me clear the screen and now in order to check if nexa is installed just to nexa dash dash version and there you go just like olama to nexa list to see what models are there there are no models so now in order to get started and get the model let me take you to their model hub for instance you want to go with any of the model um, let's go with maybe this time i'll go with llama where is llama can i search llama yep i can there are different llama versions here maybe i'll just go with llama 3 and then you see that llama 3 is here how about llama 3.1 and we have llama 3.1 in different quantized way so i'm just going to go with u4km i always find it quite a good balance between performance and size now in order to run it all you need to do is to click on this run model locally select your device here for windows powershell we already have done this uh, installation so we are not going to do that we are just going to click here i have copied this command to run this let's go back to my powershell paste it here and then press enter it is going to download the model and then we can play around with it so you see that the model size is just around under 5 gig so let's wait for it to finish and the model is loaded now now this is error you might see on windows as i mentioned earlier very early days it has just been released still i think they are working through some of the creases so if you read through this passage it has successfully downloaded the model and pulled it i think it also has verified the checksum in the gguf but it was unable to load the model but if you do nexa list here you will see that the model is now present on our local system so for that error there could be three reasons first you don't have torch installed so if that is the case simply simply do pip install torch and second could be you don't have um, conda installed or your uh, sorry not conda you don't have transformers installed for that just to pip install transformers and make sure that you are using the upgraded version of transformer so just put capital u here for me this both of these were not the issue for me this was the issue so i had to install cuda in my conda environment i already have 
CUDA installed on my system but because it's a CODA environment it doesn't have CUDA so I had to run this command to install CUDA in the CODA environment and then once that's done and then you run this Nexa run with the model name it is going to load the model and then you can talk with it so there you go you can talk with it like what is happiness and then there you go so there is the model response and let's wait for it it's the same experience like Olama here and then exit from here it is exited CLS Olama list and you will see that so not Olama Nexa list I'm sorry there you go so we have this Nexa list here and you can also remove the model from here by doing this uh, model name and then it is going to remove the model uh, from here so and if I do next list I might see a bug yeah there you go so I think they have a bug here where once you delete it they have this indexing error anyway so very early project these bugs are expected now another cool thing is that for example if you go to their model hub and then go back for example you go with uh, maybe computer vision or multimodal let's get this stable diffusion one run model locally grab this oh, and then go back to powershell and run this let me show you how you can create images with this also i have as i mentioned i have discussed in huge great detail on my other video different features of this nexa both once you have it installed it's the same experience with windows and linux and mac so I would highly recommend you also watch that video because I have discussed it in great detail how that works. So let me show you how you can generate images just from text with the help of Nexa locally. So mod model is downloaded. You can we can create something like uh, we can just say anything here. A dragon doing fire. Let's press enter. No negative prompt. And then it is going to generate the image in our present directory there you go so this is where it has generated the image nexa sdk generated images so let me open that so this is my local directory where i have put in nexa sdk image this is the image let me open it what is that it's okay so it's a dragon but anyway so it has generated the image somehow it's a quantized model of course similarly you can do text to speech speech to text a lot of other things with it so that's it guys this is how you install nexa on windows and then do the inference as i mentioned earlier if you want to learn more about it please watch my other video which i already have shared where we have done few more things i will be covering more and more features of this nexa in my upcoming videos as it seems like a good tool and we will be looking at it at different angles because you can also use a Nexa server to serve your models. I already have shown that in the other video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.